News story. As the world propels forward on the digital highway, industry leaders are urging their peers to explore new horizons. One such advocate is Tolo Singh, president of the Fiji Institute of Chartered Accountants FICA. Singh is nudging the accounting industry towards a digital transformation, encouraging the exploration of emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence AI and data analytics. As Singh underlines, there's a lot of talk about digitalization over the last decade, but it hasn't kicked off to the magnitude it can. How ready is the accounting industry to embrace this digital transformation? Are professionals prepared to adopt new tools and upskill, embracing a mindset of continuous learning? AI and data analytics, Singh believes, will require accountants and related industries to adapt, upskill, and adopt a mindset of continuous learning. This perspective aligns with the wider global trend of digital transformation across various sectors. But the question remains can the traditionally conservative accounting industry readily adapt to these changes? The FICA Congress Scheduled for June 23rd and 24th at the Shangri-La Fijian Resort and Spa in Yarnuka Island, Sigatoka, will address these questions. The forum will focus on the practicality and potential of AI, robotics, and other innovative technologies in the accounting field. How these technologies can bridge gaps in the industry will be a key topic of discussion. Singh's stance reflects a broader shift in the business world, with industries across the globe undergoing significant digital transformations. As more and more sectors leverage the power of AI and data analytics, they are also facing the challenges of adaptation and upskilling. But is the accounting industry lagging behind in this digital race? Can the FICA Congress propel it forward? While Singh's call to action is clear, it also underlines a larger narrative the role of AI and data analytics in transforming industries. As we continue to explore the potential of these technologies, we must also ponder the implications for the workforce and society at large. Are we ready to embrace this change, and what will it mean for the future of work?